Okay, you're here. Ooh. Easy, please. Oh, easy. talking about, yeah, that's very easy. Talking about shoes, tango shoes. I notice sometimes I tell you, get those pair of shoes, they are beautiful, the color, and you go, no, no, I don't like it. And I have my, my specific tango yeah, shoes. Yes. So what brand of shoes do you use? I have today, I have um, a lot of different kind of brands, uh, brand of shoes, but I, I use, for example, Suipacha 256. I use today Neo Tango, but the most, 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 most comfortable one is called El Padrino. Most comfortable, more durable, more everything. Yeah, I enjoy those very, very, very much. And um, I not long ago we discovered El Padrino and La Madrina. La Madrina is yeah. for for followers. Yeah, La Madrina. Yes, those are beautiful. And um, I I've been using El Padrino shoes for this past what six seven months. Yes, eight months. Yeah, and. Oh boy, I beat them. I use it for rehearsal. I use it for classes. I use it for gardening. No, not so no. <laughs> much. No, but I use it for everything and they still intact. I remember I was, we have a number that is Oblivion and normally I dance it with beige, right? Beige yeah. costume. And you, you were always like, oh, those beige shoes that you have, uh, those are like kind of a sc scratch or whatever. Yeah. Get new. And this. Beige. Yeah, this brand, I have one beige, one be uh, be Very clear, beige. light. I keep beating them up in rehearsal classes, everything. Nice. And I just, with the hands, I go like this, and they are still like brand new. Yeah. Yes, very, very, very much. Before I used to use like, for example, break in the middle, like just two points, and especially dancing in, in stage, you know that, uh, you want to show lines. Lines are yeah, very, very important. Yeah, that's good tip for the dancers. Sometimes yeah. they need to know how is the special shoe for dancing compared with the street dance? Street, yeah. I mean, street shoes. And all, uh, talking about the open thing, right? I used to use it for the longest time, yes, yeah. since I started dancing and almost. And uh, those are very, very comfortable, but require you to have good balance. Yes, ah. because your, your foot can move this way. If it's the whole sole, you, have, you will have better balance. But this one, the other ones give you better line. So it's a give and take. Yeah. Yes, and um, but I was kind of a skeptical using the entire sole uh -huh. without break because I, I thought, you know, like when you point, it's not the same. It's kind of, it's, I don't know, it won't show the lines and it's, I, I didn't like it. Yeah. So, but I started using that since I started wearing a Padrino and I, I feel. And how is the price? It's much cheaper, much cheaper than, than all, all the other brands. Lower, lower price. That's good because I noticed going to Argentina that the prices are very... I mean, not only in Argentina. Yes. Also here. Other shoes, the prices are very high. Very overpriced. Um, very overpriced. Yeah. I, I think about people uh, performing, like performances, uh, I mean, performers who need uh, a, lot of, a lot of tango shoes. Yes. A lot of, uh, for each dress, you need... A tango yeah. shoes. So, and if you are living and working in Argentina, mm. it's tough because yeah. you are getting paid in pesos. And yeah. you can tell you when we were to Argentina and we were trying to buy a uh, tango shoes, the prices are in euros. Yeah. It's crazy. So, yeah. So, if you are um, in the business of uh, tango shoes, you can also lower the price for the performers. Yeah. In, in any part of the world, but especially if you get money in pesos, like the dancers in Argentina, yes. and then you have to buy the shoes in euros, that's very tough for them, yeah. very tough. Hope they can have a discount at least. And, and we do too here. We, I, hope, yes. I hope we can get, get a discount because uh, we are not rich here. We are no. working a lot and we are spending a lot of money on costumes and dresses and uh, shoes and makeup. Um, if we have a discount for the tango places, that's a big help. I mean, yeah. this is not a hobby. Like in other cases, it's a hobby for the people. Yeah. For us, it's part of our career. Yeah, career, profession. Yeah, profession yeah. everything. And I was lucky, talking about that, I was really, really lucky when I started dancing tango in Buenos Aires because I was dancing, as I started, like I was saying before, in, in Patagonia, right? With my brother and everything. But when I moved to Buenos Aires, I was lucky when I started working because Suipacha 256 and Fabio Shoes sponsored me. 
I was, it was an exchange for, I was doing tango videos and I was doing also, I was working in different shows and tango houses, tango places, uh, shows. Yes. And we exchanged and I would receive I, uh, every month one or two pairs from each. You were so, so lucky. Yeah, you never I, get something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was That's really, good. really, really lucky and I will be always grateful. Otherwise, yeah. it will be so much, 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 much harder. I was working yes. for the day to day at that moment and uh, having that because I was doing at that moment like 12, 13, 14 shows every week and the shoes are gone in, in a month. In a month you have no more shoes. Yeah. So especially so working. having to spend so much money for shoes, it was not oh, worth yes. it. So it was a big help. So I hope you can do it for the other dancers who are starting, performing. Yes in Argentina and around the world to help them to get tango shoes. Yes, yes. And get El Padrino. Sí. My favorite, my personal favorite. That's so, good. Um, I have okay. a... a, 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 a I don't know where we are. So, more questions or we finished already? No, I think we have more. Yeah, we have more. Okay. Okay. Well, this is, this is something that I'm interested in because I, I always watch different shows, different videos, and I know you told me once you were doing, um, I know you were doing the helicopter move. Remember? And uh, I, I don't remember. So when you start doing it and how was the experience? Do you have any funny experience about that? Funny experience. You told, yeah, you, I you flew told me that. A couple of times from partner's hands to the floor. Yes. <laughs> you told me that lift. I was very I'm grateful for that. I always admired that lift. I learned that lift from Julio Sandor. He taught me that lift with uh, my partner at the, at the moment. And it's one of the best ones. And I was doing that lift in Buenos Aires. I was dancing in Buenos Aires with my partner and taking classes from Julio Sandor. And then I was performing a song, a tango song in one of the tango houses in Buenos Aires. And I was using, we were using this lift at the end and my partner was throwing me to the real bandoneon. Not the big one, like the one later you were doing no, it. No, that so. was later. Okay. That was when the producer of the of whatever sure. tango show saw that scene that we were doing in the Tango House. Before he, the show. He, he put that little scene that he saw in this Tango House in a big stage with a big bandoneon. Oh, wow. So we were doing this with the real bandoneonist and the real bandoneon <laughs> who have to finish. It was another song. It okay. was not Lisandro Adrovers, Two Sojos of the Cielo was another song. So we were, the bandoneon player have to open the bandoneon at the end of the routine. So I can, so my partner was throwing me through the floor and I have to create that pose in front of the real bandoneon. So wow. it, was, it was a coordination of three people. The dancers, even, even the dancers and the, the musicians. <laughs> the dancers and the musicians. Wow. So yeah, and then the producer came to see that show in Buenos Aires in Avenida Corrientes, Corrientes Avenue, and he put that scene on the big stage on, wow. on Forever Tango. Wow, and what, what year was that? More 1990. Less. 1990. Yeah, we were doing that 1989, 1990. Same year, 1990, I went to Forever Tango for the first time with that lift. Yeah. Wow. That's, so that's thanks very, to Julio Sandor. Yeah. For yeah. the teachings. And I thank you for teaching me that one. Ah. <laughs> okay. So do we have another one? Yeah, and that's then, my turn. Let me, let me see. No, no, no. <laughs> don't see it. Um, oh, this is a good one. Okay. Because I know you perform in different places. Okay. Because you dance since you were. How, how old you? I think you? I was. 13? I 13. started in 1999, so I was okay. probably 14. 
Good. So, so you have the opportunity yeah. to dance in Italy, in France, in Japan, in all in the Buenos Aires uh, tango scenes. So, which one was um, the largest audience for which you have performed on the stage? Includes TV or not TV? Maybe let's say live. Okay. Uh, stage production. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, TV, TV is I different mean, TV because here, you never you know. Millions, yeah. yeah, you perform in, so you think you can dance. Yes. So yeah, not different. that one, but stage. Okay, stage production. I think the it probably you will correct me. I think the largest one it was when we danced for the Latin Grammys here in Vegas in, at the MGM. Yeah, we danced two times for the Latin Grammys, and I think it was like. They said 18,000 people, something like that. I don't remember. I'm not 100% so. sure. But it was massive, massive, massive. I wasn't, massive, I wasn't massive. Too nervous to remember. The, <laughs> the other one, it was when we danced in Paris, also was a huge stadium. Yeah, that was big. I, Which I, one was larger? I'm not sure. That's, I, I think I, it I was think, the Latin Grammy because this was in F MGM. Yes. And it's Hotel. one of the largest. It's, uh, I think, the largest. And then it was also on TV in many countries, but... As a stage, uh, 100 countries live. That's yeah, what I heard. That was I don't know. it. I don't know. So you did perform. We did perform for for Ruben Blades. Ru Ruben, Ruben Blades. Blades. Yes, uh, Ruben Blades, and also for. Uh, um, so this is when he presents his tango. Yes. His new tango uh, disc. Yeah, yes, he was presenting the new tango disc. He won the. And Grammy. remember, we were improvising. Yes, that was crazy. That was ah, crazy. That was, that's another question. Yeah. But let, Did let, you let. ever improvise <laughs> on a big stage, which is also on TV, and you and, have to lead me? <laughs> <laughs> but the funny thing is that we were to, we were in Canada at that moment when they called us, remember? Mm -hmm. And the funny thing is they called us to do in two three, to be in two or three days in Vegas to perform for, perform for, for the Latin Grammys. Yeah. And... They sent us a song that it wasn't like, it was not the song. <laughs> it wasn't the version. It was totally different version. It was like a kind of a... I and they know. said you have to dance to this, but yes. we couldn't... We didn't prepare anything because we didn't have any time. It was Latin Grammys. Can you imagine that? So um, we went there and we're supposed to dance two minutes. The song was six minutes. And we're supposed to dance two, two to three minutes. And that's it. And then um, they just extended. <laughs> Ruben Blades came and he said, "Oh, guys, I like I like what you do on your on your I, not the, not that voice, of course. <laughs> I like well, what you do." Well, at first, at first, he looked at us. Remember, he says, "Are we having dancers? Who are them? Yeah, we are like nobody. <laughs> Let's run. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nobody here. He didn't even know that he he would have dancers. So the production put us there." And then, uh, but then he saw us dancing while he was singing, Rehear rehearsing. rehearsing, and the re that day, we, we were listening for the very first time the song, that moment, hours before yeah. the show. Yeah. And then he came and he said, hey, well, I like what you do. Why you don't dance the whole song, six minutes, improvisation? <gasps> why <in> that, Rubensito? <laughs> oh, sure, sure, sure. That's Rubensito. what we're doing for. <laughs> so we have to improvise the whole, the whole song. And also, right before the show, he said, okay, uh, we're supposed to enter together. Yes. And then they said, okay, now you're going to enter this gate. This and then you're going to enter from the other side. And uh, it was Pitbull. Pitbull was, he said. Before us. Before us. With a lot of fireworks. Fireworks, a robot, huge robot in the stage. I don't know. It was crazy. And the crazy. stage was opening layers and layers. And we were moving from the back to, to the front. Yeah. And she was in one part of the stage and I was in the other. I was looking for my partner and I didn't know where she was. Fireworks, layers opening, and I was like, what the heck? <laughs> so, and suddenly we saw each other on the stage. I don't know. I just yeah. walked inside the stage, guessing when, when she would appear. We didn't have any cue. And no. we just, I don't know, we just walked gracefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then we started improvising. That was the whole thing. The only thing, the yeah. only part that, that was we not didn't improvising. not improvise was the end. I think it was the last count of the eight. The last count of eight. We that, knew we knew the routine, but the version was different. So you had to use your good ear. Yeah, because we were improvising. We were yeah. improvising, ta, 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 and I was trying to guess 
when that eight a count of eight will be done yeah i mean will be come will come and so i was just mm, focusing on the steps and the timing and everything and it worked i don't know angels came with us yeah we always call the angels and they help when we need it yes okay another question Vamos. this is for me oh this is tough were you always welcome to a dressing room when joining the company for the first time any can any company Tango company, of course. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm asking I this. I felt, yeah. Because Wait, that's a I strange know, yeah. question. Because it, I know there is bullying in many companies. Yeah. Believe it or, believe it yeah. or not, there, is, there are bullies in all the tango companies. Not in all, but in many tango companies, yeah. there are bullies. All the dance companies and yeah. everywhere also different jokes that you don't yeah. have to do. So. Yeah, so yeah, and the dressing room, I also, you're right, because sometimes um, it happens that a new person try to fit and the people who were in the company before, they make it, they make it like hard for the new people, the new dancer. And for me, it was good. I didn't have any problem at all. Most of the time it was like uh, I knew the dancers from before, from other companies. Um, but if they were new or if I go inside the company and there was people already there, I try to say hello to everybody okay. and we talk. But was one uh, place or one tour we did uh, in Japan where I saw a lot of um, problems inside the dressing room. It wasn't okay. to me, but it was just one person. Actually, it was not a problem in the company. It was one person. Okay. Uh, yeah, just happen, to yeah. share the experience of people who are now doing, uh, starting to, or touring, doing yeah. tours, they don't do the same. Uh, this person was always talking behind you and making fun of of the other dancers when they were doing the makeup and talking about the hair of the other person, like making fun of the hair of the other person. So that was only one little problem. And one little person who really tried to make person. it, no, it's just <laughs> no, I mean, make yeah, it, make it like hard something. for the rest. But we were all like laughing and trying to not yes. get involved. So we had fun because when, when you are touring, there is a lot of moment that you yeah. share and you have to spend a lot of time together. Yeah. So in the dressing room, we take it for the dancers. It's a very special moment for, especially yeah. for the, uh, for the ladies is where, where you take the time to make up and do the hair and yeah. relax. It's like a ceremony. Mm -hmm. It's a ceremony before going to the stage. So we try not to be bothered on that moment. Yeah, I, I've seen as a, as a guy in the yeah. lead, leader's dressing room, uh, sometimes a, a new guy will come new to the show and some other people, I wasn't doing that, but other people will grab their stuff and throw it outside of the dressing room or yeah. uh, even on the floor. I saw that too. Yeah, on that the, kind of thing. The guys not, dressing yeah. room. It's, at first it starts like a joke, but it's not like... It yeah, always... It's not They funny. try to make <laughs> it like a joke Yeah. with double intention. Yeah. It's, oh yeah, it's okay. Yeah. We yeah. do that. It's a joke. Don't get mad. Don't get yeah. mad. That actually is not really funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I hope they don't do it anymore and... And try to be, you know, the more you are in a good mood, the better you enjoy the tour and the and the show is a success yeah. when the company is together. It's a big success and it's better for everyone. Yeah, like we were talking before, like you, when you were in Broadway, you, yeah. the show has to be perfect. So yes. if that kind of things happen, it's like the show doesn't work the same way. Yes. So And people from the audience can tell. Especially when you are touring, you are um, far away from your country, from your family and from, from your friends. So you feel kind of alone. So these are the new family you yes, have. Yes, totally. And you share a lot of moments. And it's good to have that feeling like you spend some... We, I spend like New Year's, Christmas, mm. my birthday, other dancers' yeah. birthdays. So it's good to have a good mood and to be unified. Yeah. Very, very important. Yeah. Okay, next. My turn. Okay.